Hello, and welcome to another demonstration of IBM Data Power Operations Dashboard, or DPOT for short. The following demonstration will walk you through troubleshooting a malfunctioning service, which seems to be completely inoperable. After making sure that the service is actually up and running and doesn't have any service certificate issues, we finally find that the cause of the problem is actually bad requests, which include either a wrong URL or are missing an SSL client certificate. As you may know, early processing problems are quite difficult to detect using only data powers logs, even more so when there are multiple devices involved. Depot provides a unique feature that allows to easily discover calls which were rejected during early processing. This is what we'll demonstrate. So for this scenario, let's say that you're a data power administrator and that you've received a complaint that a recently deployed service is malfunctioning. The first step for investigating such an issue is to open the service activity dashboard under analytics. We want to see whether transactions are being executed on this service or not. So let's go to the relevant domain. We see that there are two services on this domain which are processing transactions. However, neither of these are the newly deployed service. What this shows is that the customer's complaint was correct. It also shows that the problem does not lie within the service. That is, the problem is not within the policy rules. Otherwise, we would have seen transactions running on this service and failing. This is more likely a problem which occurs earlier in processing, during SSL TLS processing, during basic HTTP communication, or maybe the service is disabled, etc. The next step in our investigation would be to check whether the service object is enabled and whether the service is running. If we wanted to do this without Depod, we would have had to go to all the relevant data power gateway devices and check the service status manually. Depot, however, makes our job much easier. We can use the Faked Objects dashboard, which is under Explore to the left of the screen. This dashboard shows all the services which are enabled but in a down state. Depot constantly scans all the services on all monitor devices to determine their state. Here, however, we see that there are no failed objects under this domain. So let's clear the domain so we can see other domains as well. Now we can see that under the side calls domain, there's an SQL data source object, which is currently down, probably due to some malfunction in the connection to the database. However, this is not relevant to our problem, so we need to look elsewhere. The next thing we should check is whether this is an SSL TLS certificate expression issue. This is a relatively common problem in production data power devices. To check this, we can navigate to the expired certificate dashboard and clear the time range. However, here too we don't see any relevant messages, which means that this is not the source of the problem either. So perhaps the problem has to do with calls being rejected during early processing. Depot allows us to easily investigate such cases, whereas on standalone data power machines, this would be quite difficult. To check this, let's go to the early failing page under investigate. Let's select the relevant domain. Now we see that there are a lot of early failing requests. Some requests have to do with a faulty URL, like this one. And if we drill down into this request, we can see that indeed, there are no matching WS proxy endpoints to this URI. If we go back to the previous screen and drill down into another early failing request, we see that there was an SSL handshake problem due to a certificate validation error. Now we see the source of the problem the consumer is calling the wrong URI and is not sending the correct client certificate, resulting in data power rejecting the requests. To conclude, we can see just how easy it is to investigate early failing transactions using Depod. Depod's dashboard 
provide a centralized, focused, and easy to use tool for troubleshooting various kinds of problems, which would have otherwise required a great deal of manual work from the data power administrator. Thank you for joining us. We hope you find this demonstration useful. You're welcome to see other troubleshooting scenarios in our other videos.